Hello, my soccer universe. Well, this international break came upon me even faster than I thought. I was thinking they will do the regular uh, Thursday to kind of Wednesday turnaround. No, it starts today on uh, Wednesday. So uh, and then we have a very weird schedule. We have two days and a day off, two days, a day off, two days. And then maybe it's, you know, three match days compressed into one and just thinking that we had on Sunday uh, the last matches and now Wednesday they have to already play uh, the first uh, set of matches is an incredible turnaround and I yeah maybe the teams that were at the Euros will have a slight advantage there because they kind of still know each other but then they're already I mean if I just look at my country Austria uh there are so many injuries already coming that you need to redo things uh, as well so but i wanna actually do it the following way i wanna first quickly recap where do we stand uh where do we expect things to go based on where we stand at the moment and then we'll look at the matches that are happening on tuesday and third uh, on wednesday and on thursday um, I will make a review video on these uh, games and the results and my thoughts so that that you should get by Friday late, uh, late afternoon-ish. Uh, I don't think it, I will manage any time soon. So just uh, as a heads up there, I will do three review videos after each match day because I think everything else is a bit of madness. I also need to take a uh, little bit of a breather but i will keep you entertained with some short videos unpacking videos and um general stuff in between so uh don't despair if you are missing content from me there will be near daily content for sure in any case so i'm wearing norway because i thought it's maybe time to wear a team that is not uh at the euros the 90 air uh, france 98 and uh, back here are the 13 teams that are most likely to qualify and I think we have 13 slots so basically those could be the teams that we will see at the World Cup. However, let's look at the standings. Uh, the um, uh, procedure again if you did only the group winners they uh, qualify directly for the World Cup. The runners-up are put in a playoff trees to decide the remaining three spots so we have 10 groups. Then uh, we have uh, 10 runner-ups and those two will be augmented by the two best group winners that have not yet qualified for either the World Cup directly or, uh, the, uh, or the playoffs, the group winners from, last, from the last Nations League. So in the standings that I have here, I have those group winners marked with a star. And this playoff then is, uh, you know, uh, groups of four and they play uh, one of uh, ties to determine who will go to the World Cup. So a uh, rather involved procedure. Um, we have Group A. Um, I think it's already pre-decided. Portugal and Serbia and probably Portugal will then sail through with Group B. Uh, similarly, I mean, Spain had a slow start, but now we have Spain, Sweden already after two two games looking uh, heads and shoulders above the rest. Um, and also the same goes for the Group C, Italy and Switzerland. There will be uh, a recurring th uh, theme here. Uh, I know there are many games still to be played and you see Italy is actually game-wise ahead for the simple reason that uh, they have to save their slots when they play the Nations League Final Four uh, come October. So we will have Italy quite often. Uh, France also a uh, slow start and then every, everything winning because everyone else is not winning. So France already looking very comfortable as well. Um, I think that we have a more interesting group. Belgium, yes, will win that group. But then Czech Republic, Wales, um, there might be a hustle and tussle for the second playoff spot. And also Group F, yes, Denmark very much ahead. But who will get the playoff sc uh, spot between Scotland, Israel and Austria? So uh, you already see kind, kind of in the to the right are uh, 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 the probabilities that to be honest, Austria should be favored there, but they put themselves already in such a hole early, early on that uh, direct qualification will be really, really tough to achieve. Probably the most level group is currently Group G with Turkey, the Netherlands and Montenegro uh, and Norway. Um, 
that seems to be still wide open and still very much depends on what Netherlands team will show up. Also Turkey did such a great start and now at, after the Euros they're a little bit reeling. So yeah, uh, Norway, maybe Norway. Also the group H between Russia, Russia, Slovakia and potentially Slovenia. Maybe there's something in there. Uh, the England group is very much going England's way between Hungary, Poland and potentially Albania. I think there is uh, stuff that could happen. Uh, and then, uh, very surprisingly, um, in Group J we have Armenia up on top and Germany is only in third place. Remember, North Macedonia beat Germany away from home. And currently these 12 teams would be in the playoffs and this is basically also how they're kind of seeded in there. I think the seeding also determines kind of who uh, the top six will definitely play against the bottom uh, six there. But all still very much in flux because Armenia will not qualify for color. If this will stand, stand like this, Germany will not qualify, which would be big. So let's see expected standings. Uh, and you also see how on the graph or on, on the right, how um, the chances have been progressing so far. And yeah, as I said, Portugal and Serbia has all going, been going their way. Spain and Sweden, you know, early Spain took a little bit of a hit and then uh, we we're only playing a draw against Greece. But Greece themselves shot themselves in the foot. So Spain and Sweden it will be. Uh, Italy very steadily walking towards the uh, World Cup where uh, Swiss, Swiss and because they had a, a match day off I think uh, a little bit now more even but uh, it's between those two. France go through, Belgium go through but it's uh, the Wales beat the Czechs so that was a big result for them. And then Denmark yes. Through Austria uh, clinging on uh, and now we had at, at the most interesting group, Turkey really gave themselves a good chance and then, uh, then only a draw at home to Latvia and uh, the Netherlands picking up the pieces from the opening day defeat maybe put the Netherlands back into contention there's also we have to look at Norway I think uh, there will be a big ma ma matchup that's one of the reasons why I'm wearing Norway now. Group H is very much uh, between uh, Croatia and Russia at this very, 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 very moment with, with the two Slovenia and Slovakia. Um, maybe being able to do something and similar between Hungary and Poland. I think that is also an interesting uh, battle there. And Germany is still high above everyone else. So as for the teams that will qualify for the playoff, um, Expected at the moment are Switzerland, Sweden, Russia, Serbia, Turkey, and Wales as the seeded teams, and Hungary, Armenia, Austria, Ukraine, and then from the um, Champions League, ah, Nations League, not Champions League, uh, Czech Republic and Slovenia to uh, qualify for the playoffs. So this gives you a more complete picture. Uh, just who will qualify, who is, who is expected to qualify. Uh, Portugal, Spain, Italy, France, Belgium, Denmark, Netherlands, Croatia, England, and Germany all not really surprising to be honest. So what's on the menu? We have today quite uh, uh, some interesting games. I think for me the most interesting is definitely Norway against Netherlands and I think if I have only the choice of one that's the one I'm gonna watch. Denmark, Scotland, 2 euro uh, participants is interesting. It starts actually early with Kazakhstan against Ukraine. Will there be an upset? I doubt it. I doubt it to be honest. And then, uh, you know, if Ireland was better, Portugal, Ireland so sounds like a good one, but I think Russia, Croatia is the other big matchup there. And then tomorrow, uh, the European champions will start at home to Bulgaria. Very happy for Bulgaria there. And Sweden and Spain that we had already at the Euros. Um, that will be. Br I honestly expect it to be a little bit more open game because Sweden really would need something from this uh, game if they want to have a chance for direct qualification, but then Spain could kill them right there. And then uh, we've also uh, Hungary hosting England. Uh, Poland need a definitely win against Albania. And North Macedonia, Armenia is a surprise matchup in the Germany group because those are the two top teams at the moment. So those are just a few games that I want to point out. In any case, uh, as I said, I will be cover, uh, covering, but maybe a slightly slower pace uh, than I usually do, but you know, 
I think that's fine. Um, let me know which games you're looking forward to watching now on this match day four. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, just in case you enjoyed this video, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider following me on social media and actually subscribe to my channel so that you stay updated with everything that happens in my Sofa universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.